All right, Internet. Uh, I made this thing yesterday for my U-turn, which has a clear platter, and it's super see-through, which means I've seen people put LED lights behind it. Um, so I was like, that's easy. Let's do it. Um, it looked awesome. I put it together, and then a couple people asked, well, how do you do it? So in this YouTube video, there is a big list of links of everything you need. Honestly, you don't need half that stuff, but you know, maybe we can make it nice. So let's start with the basics. What all you really need is a 12 volt charger um, with a low amp and you're looking at a VC DC uh, amp. So they're usually called AC DC adapters, uh, which is a good name for anything. Second, um, you need one of these LED strips. Um, they actually, I've only seen them sold in two packs. Uh, there's a link. Um, and then they got this like end attached to it. And that's it. This is all you need. There's actually a sticky back to this and you can sort of maneuver it wherever. Um, but then immediately it's like, this doesn't make sense. It's way too big. Like how's this going to fit in the platter? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so a couple things about that. The platter's probably like this big, right? Um, you don't really want to see this. Like if you're sitting down, you don't want to see this like through the side of the table. And honestly, you don't need all these lights. You need about these many lights, right? Which is about two or three inches. So cool thing about these strips, step one, right where you see these like little pieces that kind of repeat, these like bronze looking pieces, you can cut it right there and it won't break anything. My son's playing Legos in the background. It's a sweet looking castle, dude. I like it. Yeah, those are your bricks now. They used to be mine. So he's having fun. We're all having fun today. So cool. I just cut it. Um, pretty straightforward. This is all you're going to need. You'll actually just kind of put it under the platter on the back and like have this part stick out. Or you can go this way and kind of do a right angle and stick out the back. Um, there's plenty of room. It's not going to get in the way of the platter or anything. Um, and it's nice and sticky, like I said. So that's it. The only other thing you got to do now is take the end off of this guy. Um, it's got a barrel connector. Really, the thing that you do want to check um, is just that you got the polarity right. So this is super forgiving if you plug it in backwards it just won't work if you plug it in the right way it'll work so you're not going to damage anything if you go in reverse um, a quick check would be plug this side in to an outlet have this um, so i got an outlet right here i'm going to plug into and don't really do this people will tell you not to do this but whatever so kind of just shove the hot end in the middle there touch the other end I mean that's it that's all you could do if you wanted to take some scotch tape and stick it together like that fine if you want to <laughs> make it a little nicer continue on so what I'm gonna do is actually uh, cut this piece off and I want a nice barrel connector um, so I want this to happen I want to be able to like basically take it apart really easily because you don't want this big cable hanging out the back of your turntable, gets caught on something, takes you out, pulls you down the stairs, whatever. Um, happy coincidence though, this barrel connector will fit this one. Cool, so we don't have to do anything. We can actually just attach this end to the other side. But if you find some power adapter that doesn't really line up very well, um, there's a link to both. Um, and I will show you what to do next. So now we're just going to splice these two wires together, red to red, black to black, right? You probably need something like this, but you could use scissors, whatever. I've seen people in a pinch use all kinds of weird things to cut it. Don't operate on this while it's plugged in the wall. Make sure it's unplugged. Uh, cut these off. I do that because there's usually a little bit of like solder at the end and they try to help you, like if you're gonna use a breadboard, but we're not using a breadboard today. Um, and then you just kinda find one of these sizes, strip it, cool. This side's already stripped. Um, it actually comes with the tin on it, like I said before. Again, that makes it weird. You'll see in a second to sort of splice them together. So just chop them off, 
pull the pull the coat off and do it again. Now um, you could use electrical tape, and why not use electrical tape? It's totally fine. Uh, I like to use this heat shrink. So what I'll actually do is I'll take a larger piece of heat shrink, put it over both both of them, and then put one over the red, right? And then just kind of just kind of take them, red the red, do a little twisty twist. This is where if it was like a hardened piece of solder, it wouldn't twist very well. So you twist it up, and then solder those pieces up, uh, which I'll show you real quick. But you know, you kind of make it neat. If you twist it up real good, you can kind of hold it like this. And then solder them and then once you solder it slide this over with the heat shrink um, one thing I thought would be cool and we'll get back to our regular story is uh, what if we had a switch on there right like what if we could just go on our turntable and do this and turn the uh, light on and off um, there's a lot of different switches out there this one's super straightforward all you're gonna do is plug one of these red pieces into here and the other into the other side and it's just going to connect and disconnect the red part so basically what you'll have at the end is these two black uh, wires soldered together and then these two red wires soldered to each tab of one of these switches and then um, basically on off on off and you don't even doesn't even matter which way you go you're gonna find out as soon as you get it hooked up when the circuit is hooked up you'll know which way's on which way's off cool thing about that is on that platter um, you could sort of drill out a larger hole and then um, basically mount this in there and there's a little bit of like finessing you'll want to do I'm actually not gonna do that to my table um, today but it's an option so let's go back to what I was doing so we're just gonna solder these two ends back together where did everything go cool and I'm gonna use the heat shrink so put the put that back on I'm doing things in reverse order sorry this is my first how-to video uh, hopefully all of this is in frame <laughs> cool so twist these up real good now I got a pretty fancy soldering iron you don't need a fancy soldering iron there's a link to a really simple one um, I got mine because uh, Adam Savage from Mythbusters said it was awesome and it is awesome but it's also like 60 bucks and I'll show you that real quick anyway these are these are secured I've got my heat shrinks already on there there's this super sweet, this actually runs on the same type of power adapter that our LEDs run on. Um, and you press a button and it just starts going up in temperature. Um, stops at about 300 C's Celsius. Cool. So then I kind of just gently get this into place on my workstation here. You can do, uh, kind of just hold it down like that. <laughs> Um, let me try a zoom real quick there so now let me go ahead and uh, solder this bad boy together that's why the soldering iron is awesome because it heats up so fast and a normal one would take a minute or two but again we got time right everyone's got time right now ha 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 now we're done look at that Last thing I gotta do is uh, shrink this heat wrap, uh, which is a piece of cake also. So I'm gonna just move that over there. Stay in screen. And it'll shrink to about half its size. looks good looks professional let's do one more slide the big guy over it 
obviously we never want the two to touch the red and the black and um, there we go we'll just heat that up. legit right let me zoom back out so now all we have to do take this end right we started with plug it in plug it in here we got lights how dope is that uh, here's the thing when you go to put it in your turntable you got the back of the turntable and you got the lid take the lid off and then just slide this in from the back and then this red pit it will just sort of hang out the back this cable will just hang out the back and then you're off to the races man I think you can figure out it from there, but uh, hopefully this helps everyone. Posting it now.